Welcome back to episode 16 of the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. And wait, did I say episode 16? Because that's what it is anyway. Uh, so uh, yeah, now we have to go to a mountain. That's a great way to start the episode. Just long travels. Sarcasm, obviously. Uh, okay, I don't want to hurt my horse from this uh, point. So let's just walk or run. I can just get that location. Then it would just make this so much easier. Well, I almost forgot to record. Oh, I found the guy. I actually think it's because, um... Oh, I can't repair. Because my, uh... Weapon is... Uh... Not at highest, um, durability. Or maybe it's because of the weakness you just put on me. Let's do this. Try to use a poison. Drain health. Yes, headshot. Okay. I am over encumbered. Drop that. Okay, maybe now I think it's time to drop some of these. Let's drop three. Yeah, I can't sell that. I don't have enough space. Uh, let's see what else he had. Oh, I guess I could sleep. Finally, strength, uh, speed, and agility. Strength, agility, speed, and that's it. Okay, uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm at uh, the next quest. And uh, during that time, I'll also sell some things. So yeah, be right back. Let's do this. Okay. Let's get this guy out. <sighs> Let's 
so Okay, now let's go to the city of Breville and lie in wait near an ancient statue known as the Lucky Old Lady. A wood elf named visits the statue every night between 6 p.m. and 1 a.m. to make a wish. As it is a local custom, when I see a, I must kill him, I should be warned, however, that he has been alerted to danger. If he senses an assassin, will probably attack attack on his sight he has also bribed the guards to look the other way if there is a fight perhaps a stealth approach would be best okay so nothing too special Whoa, these guys can breathe underwater okay Let's go to the city of Breville. So what's the time right now? Die, Kerr! That's the best you can do! Uh. Oh, was that the guy? Did not know. Okay, well, let's try it again. Your blood turns into ice. Oh, I couldn't read that. Journey to Anvil. Okay. No. No! I'm too late. I thought I could get here in time. Thought I could stop you! By Sithis, what have you done? What madness has claimed you? You have betrayed me. You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? I am here to end your miserable life, to... but... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You... you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? No, your what are you talking dead about? Your first contract. You carried that out, killed Celadayan. After that, you eliminated the Draconis family, as ordered then. Betrayal. Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all of the members of the Black Hand. Jagasta, Shali, Zuval Uvani, Havelstein Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungolum, the Listener himself. The surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you're only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. Don't you see? The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. 
We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I am hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. Uncover the true traitor's identity, and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. Fort Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. I'll wait for you at Apple Watch, the farm where you killed the old Draconis woman. It should be empty and safe. Now go, and may Sithis help us all! Now go, learn the identity of the betrayer. Wow, okay. Nothing. Let's do that. Okay. So that was a uh, unexpected. <laughs> uh, what should I call that? Hello. Yeah, that was just unexpected. No, no, please don't hurt me. He, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. It, it was the robed man. He, he paid me to put those things in the barrel. I don't know his name, and his face was in shadow. He called to me yesterday as I walked by the lighthouse. I think he lives there. Or he did, anyway. He told me he was leaving Anvil. I'm sorry, but that's all I know. No, please. The lighthouse, just outside the city walls. I think the robed man lives there, in... in the cellar. I don't know what goes on down there, but there's a horrible smell coming from underneath that door. It's like something died inside. Listen, that's all I know, really. Maybe Ulfgar Fallguy can tell you more. He's the lighthouse keeper and probably rented out the cellar. Talk, talk to Ulfgar. He's sure to have the key to the cellar. You know, if, if you want to get down there. Now, please, just let me go. Just... Nice. Okay. Well now, what might you want? Oh, do you now? And just why should I give you that? All right, that's it. You've gone and annoyed me now. Have at thee! Okay. That's good to know.
You know what? I think I can actually maybe pickpocket it. Okay, um... Yeah, I can tell why it stinks. Wow. Okay. It's all right, mother. It's all. Right. I'm very close now. How long have we struggled? How long? Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Okay. Wow. Okay. okay. Um. That was interesting. <laughs> he has been in for years and is now a member of. His goal is revenge against of the for the murder of his mother when he was a child. He actually plans on killing the night mother. Okay. Let's go there. Silencer, at last you've arrived. Fear not, for the crisis that has threatened the Dark Brotherhood has finally come to an end. I am Arquin, speaker for the Black Hand. As you can see, we have dealt with the betrayer, Lucian Lachance. No longer will you serve as his puppet. Sorry. It seems Lachance wanted revenge against the Dark Brotherhood for some reason, and used you to do his dirty work. But now we can begin anew. I bestow upon you the title of Speaker. You will take Lucien Lachance's place on the Black Hand. Welcome. As you know, the Black Hand is now in a state of disarray. Lachance ordered you to kill us off. We five, including you, are now all that remain. Even worse, you killed the listener. The Black Hand without a listener is like a hand with no thumb. Even the listener's successor is dead. So, we have no choice but to invoke an ancient ritual. We must wake the Night Mother from her slumber and seek her guidance. Between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m., ask me about the Night Mother, and we will away to Our Lady's home. Only then will the ritual begin. Um, okay. May the Night Mother hold you in her cold embrace. Greetings, fellow speaker. May what? we forever. Our troubles are all. This guy got like a Holy vision, so beautiful. Okay. Let's wait exactly 12 hours. Or not really 12 hours, sorry. It's like more like 10. 
the Black Hand welcomes you. Dear Speaker, when darkness <coughs> shrouds the Empire, we can travel to the resting place of the Night Mother and begin... May the Night Mother hold you. By the way, um, I got robes. So is this better? Okay. <sighs> Unfortunately, even though it's uglier, it's too bad. Fellow speaker. Dear Speaker, when darkness shrouds the Empire, we can travel to the resting place of the Night Mother. Oh. Dear Sp the Night Mother must be awakened so that we may seek her guidance. Are you ready to travel now to her resting place? Yes, let's go. Very good, and so it begins. The Black Hand's journey into a darkness few can imagine. Let us be off. The Night Mother awaits. Behold the Night Mother. The locals call this statue the Lucky Old Lady. They have no idea how lucky they really are. For this stone effigy masks the entrance into the Dark Brotherhood's most revered unholy site, the Crypt of the Night Mother herself. In a moment, we will begin. I will recite an incantation, and we can proceed down into the crypt and seek an audience with the Night Mother. I know this is all very overwhelming, dear child. Just follow along and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? Okay. Unholy matron, we of the Black Hand beseech you. Reveal yourself now, most magnificent Night Mother, so that we may seek your guidance. An incantation has been revealed, the hidden door of the Nightmare is crypt. I must follow the other members of the Black Hand down into the crypt. Once we're down there, the traitor will surely try to destroy the Nightmare. I must stop the traitor at all costs. Night Mother, most unholy maiden, please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The Black Hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by Sithis, as does his successor. There is a traitor amongst you. The traitor is dead, dear Mother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us your listener so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish little Lucian Lachance served Sithis till his dying breath. The Black Hand remains tainted by betrayal. Restoration is Enough. impossible. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. I will destroy your Night Mother, and the Dark Brotherhood will fall. Who? <laughs> what treachery? The traitor still lives. It is Matthew Bellamont. Do not let him harm the Night Mother. Kill him. The Night Mother still needs to name a new listener. I should wait and hear what she has to say. So, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood, young one. Your killing of the old man Banelan, the execution of Adamus Villeneuve, 
The way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family. Your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. You, a mere underling, even managed to single-handedly eliminate half of my black hand. Ah, so you choose to play the stoic, hmm? You remain silent even when faced with my terrible countenance. Your silent obedience is to be commended. If only my other children had offered such reverence. You see, I have known of Matthew Bellamont's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener, but I refused. Refused to reward such incompetence. Ungol was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Bellamont to proceed on his destructive course just as I allowed you to intercept him. Our grandfather foresaw your defeat of the traitor here in this very crypt. You have been chosen. You are to be my new listener. You possess strength and cunning and a heart as black as midnight. You were marked by Sithis the moment you emerged from your mother's womb. Silent, even as listening? Good. For now is the time to meditate upon all that has transpired. And please, help yourself to this crypt's treasures. When you are ready, speak with me again. And I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home. The Chaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done. When you return to the sanctuary, speak with Arquin. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Sweet, I am now the listener. Take that. That. Did I wear this? Ah. Oh. I trust you've weighed the importance of your new position, for you will soon hear words that will change lives, alter destinies. And I hope you've taken everything you desire from my crypt. Once you leave, you will be unable to return. Now, are you ready to begin your new life? I'm ready. Send me to the Very sanctuary. Good. Now begins your true journey. We will soon become very intimate, you and I. <laughs> Before I send you away, however, I would like to present you with a rather special reward. I see you still possess the Blade of Woe. The weapon given you by Lucy the chance when you first met. Allow me now to unlock its true power. Yes, you will now find the Blade of War a bit more potent than it was. Now go. Leave this crypt and serve our dread father till your dying breath. Arkin and I have been teleported to the... I should speak now with Arkin. Okay. So... Wow. This is powerful. Huh. 
<laughs> That's really powerful. Honored listener, I offer myself as your humble servant and guide. Please allow me to mentor you in your new role. Here's what I believe we should do next. I will stay here and attempt to reestablish this sanctuary. I will begin recruiting new members. You must fulfill your new duties. The statue in Breville serves as a conduit between the Night Mother and the listener. Once a week, you must visit the statue. Talk to it. You will be presented with a list of names and locations. These are people who have prayed to the Night Mother. They request a visit from a speaker to arrange someone's assassination. All you need to do is visit the statue once a week, get the list of names and locations, and pass it on to me here in the sanctuary. Do this, and I will give you your share of the sanctuary's weekly earnings. There is so much work to be done. So much work. Well, I don't have time for that. So I finally finished the um, uh, guild, uh, all the guild quests from the Dark Brotherhood. So I will be doing um, the Thieves Guild uh, like before until I had to cure myself from vampirism. And uh, yeah, I guess... Um, Thanks so much for watching, and uh, yeah, see you guys later. If you like the video, please leave a like, and for more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later. Bye.